So, the cost in dollars of a gym membership for n months can be described by the explicit equation. This is an explicit linear equation here, based on the form. Uh, 70 plus 30n, and we're asked, what does this equation tell us? And so the big point of this question is what's called interpreting. Where we're interpreting the equation, we're trying to make sense of what this equation is telling us. So what do we know about explicit equations? We know they take the form p0 plus d times n, where p0 is the initial amount, or the amount when n is 0. And in this case, we can see that the p0 value is 70. So first off, what measurement does this 70 take? Well, since we're adding these together to get pn, and pn is measured in dollars, then this 70 must be measured in dollars. And so this is the initial dollar amount, or the initial cost of a gym membership. So this is initial cost. Now, in practical sense, why would there be an initial cost? Well, a lot of gym memberships have some sort of sign-up or initiation fee, and that's what this would be. This would be our initial sign-up cost. So, next we can turn to our 30 in the equation, and that 30, we can see, corresponds with d, which was our common difference. Now, remember that the common difference tells us the amount that the population, or in this case, costs, how much it increases by for each value of n. So this tells us that the cost increases, increases by 30, 30 what? 30 dollars, because that's what our output's being measured in. So our cost increases by 30 dollars for e each value of n. Uh, and what is n being measured in? n is being measured in each, in months. So cost increases by $30 for each month we remain a member. So what is the $30? The $30 per month is our, is our monthly membership fee. That's how much we have to pay each month. So each month, our total cost of the membership of being a member increases by $30.